We are the Mighty Eagles, green and gold. We are from Liberty, watch us soar. Good morning, Liberty Elementary. We hope you had a wonderful winter break. Welcome back to school. Although virtually, uh, you are all on our hearts this morning, and I will be popping into classrooms to say hello and welcome back. Uh, compliments today. Ooh, we have a celebration actually for the Galvan family who won the float for our Liberty Light Parade before break, so they won the family fun basket. Thank you to all families who participated. Uh, we were so encouraged and um, shocked at the amount of people who um, decorated and came out to help us celebrate the season and so very grateful for you and we wish you a very happy new year. Also congratulations to the seventh and eighth grade teacher team who uh, won bragging rights um, for their display, um, their lights display. It was voted the best out of the teacher displays. So congratulations to that team as well. <laughs> Alrighty, what's going on at Liberty? Oh, birthdays. It is the start of January birthdays. We will go uh, through today and the rest of the week. So on the first, we celebrated Stormy Calderon and Valerie Flores along with Hannah Miller and Chelsea rankin Siech. On the second, Andre betancourt Tellez. On the fourth, Ricardo Garcia, Santiago Tafoya, and Cassandra Torres. Um, on the 5th, tomorrow will be Flaviano Concepcion and Mariah Morales along with Lorenzo Stanley. On the 6th, Kayla Feel, uh, Sergio Ramirez and Bryden Thomas. On the 7th, Danielle Peterson. And on the 8th, we will have Javier Becerra Barrera, Isabel Juarez, Elise Perez Caldera, <laughs> On the 9th, Esperanza Garcia, and on the 10th, Clayton Holloway, Dan Williams as well. So happy birthday to those Liberty family members. And for teacher birthdays, this week we are celebrating, we had a New Year's baby. Um, Miss Elkie had her birthday on New Year's Day. Tomorrow is Miss Conception's birthday on the 5th. And on the 7th, we celebrate Ms. Murphy, everybody. So make sure to shoot an email to those staff members or any of those students and wish them a happy birthday. Alrighty, what's going on at Liberty? Don't forget teachers are spelling bee. Uh, classroom winners need to be to Miss Ibarra um, by the 8th, I believe. So please make sure that you email her with that information. Also, don't forget, teachers, to also send me any celebrations of students who met goals on either Achieve or Acadiance Benchmark or um, DreamWorks. So we have these really cool, I'll show you all, Go Eagles Go t-shirts that I would love to give to any student who accomplishes a goal that they set along with their teacher. And so I will be getting these, um, Miss Murphy has sent me her list, and so I will be getting these um, to those students who uh, rocked the Achieve 3000 uh, benchmark. So um, also, any student who I go into uh, that is sixth through eighth grade that has their camera on and is actively participating um, with their voice in class, um, will get an, a homework pass emailed to them from moi, and you can forward that on to your teacher as you guys need to um, use those homework passes. Of course, same rules apply. The teacher has to recognize and approve you using the homework pass for that assignment. Um, this is our attempt, guys. I know it is difficult to keep your cameras on. It feels like everybody in the world is staring at you, but I promise it truly is not that way. We need to be able to see your faces and especially hear your voices and have you responding when we're asking questions. So in an effort to help teachers with that, I am happy to reward you all with homework passes as I catch you being good. Alrighty, so random act of kindness challenge. I don't know that this is a random act of kindness, but it's definitely something important to consider, especially I know many of us were hoping that we would be in person by this time, but our benchmarks are still all three in the red area and therefore it is not safe for us to have in-person instruction. So consider this idea. 
Being positive doesn't always mean being happy. Do you agree or disagree? Why? So that is definitely something that we can think about this morning as we start school. Um, not in the most ideal situation, but definitely one that can be very effective. Um, you all have proven, and I'm so proud, so proud of the, of the benchmark data that we're looking at. The mid-year data um, is, is higher than I expected it to be with us having the limitations of online-only instruction. So a big congratulations to all of you kiddos. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you to parents for supporting them. And most of all, teachers for planning instruction that's still effective and engaging for our kiddos. Keep up the good work. All right, Eagles, don't forget our Eagle rules. They are E, environment of respect. A, act responsibly. G, give your best effort. L, lead not follow. And E, effective voice. Okay, moving into our Kids at Hope Pledge, Treasure Hunter Pledge, and then you guys can do the Pledge of Allegiance on your own. Maybe join, have your parents join you in that. I am a kid at Hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future, and I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. All children are capable of success, no exceptions. As an adult and a treasure hunter, I am committed to search for all the talent, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and youth. I believe all children are capable of success, no exceptions. Have a great week back, everyone. Miss you.